afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome to the Poinciana STEM Elementary Title I Annual Meeting. The purpose of this meeting is to inform you of the Every Student Succeeds Act that requires Title I schools to hold an annual meeting and to inform families of how we are encouraging you to ask questions and make suggestions to help improve this Title I program at Point Seattle STEM Elementary. So you asked, what is Title I? Title I is a part of a federal law that grants money to select schools to help with academics, professional development, and to support schools and family partnerships. How does a school become a Title I school? Well, this year, the School District of Palm Beach County has selected this 70% threshold for elementary, middle, and combined schools, which means that if students, 70% of our students have free and reduced price lunch, then we are a Title I school. And ta-da, yes, Ponciana STEM Elementary is a Title I school. So what does it mean for our school? It simply means this, that we get additional funds to support student achievement professional development and family supporting programs for academics. So what does it mean for our school? Well, parents, you have a right to be informed and involved. We are having this Title I meeting at this very moment as evidence to inform you of what Title I is and what rights and decision-making that you have. Feel free to join stakeholder input meetings um, get involved with uh, our parents' right to know activities, get involved with our parent engagement activities. You have a school parent compact in the classroom at this very time. If you'll take a look at that, preview it, give us your suggestions if you have any, and we are very open to your suggestions. Sign and leave it with your teacher tonight. You also have a right for uh, to receive uh, notifications and to participate in surveys. So everyone wins, students, teachers, and families. So we like to customize this plan, our school-wide plan. And we began this process in February of this year with a comprehensive needs assessment. We developed activities to support those needs. We developed the plan, and you will see that plan in action. And all systems go, ELA, math, and science. So now, we must customize our instruction. Therefore, we use Title I monies for teaching positions, for after-school tutorial, what we call it extended learning opportunities, technology, and school supplies. Yes, we certainly reach out to meet our and exceed our expected outcomes. Parent, family trainings, And yes, you'll find out about the first one. Mark your calendar for September 19th in the morning, 8.30, for our very first parent-family engagement activity. There it is. September 19th at the Panda Cafe, we will discuss what good readers do. Come on out. Uh, show your team spirit, wear your favorite t-shirts and jerseys for your football team, and let's get busy learning those learning strategies for reading. And yes, STEM is everywhere. That will take place January 17th. Mark your calendar. Yes, we are still having our stargazing nights, March 6th. Mark your calendar. You'll find out more about these events in the coming, in the coming days. But listen, reach Research shows that if we work together, your students get better grades, they do better on tests, they attend school, they graduate from high school, they, oh my goodness, they may even go on to continue their education after high school. So it's important that our engagement together as a team is effective. And so when you hear me say PFIP, it's just a short name for Parent and Family Engagement Plan. We've sat down, written out our plan, we've discussed it in SAC, and you will receive a summary of that plan pretty soon. You have that compact? Parents, students, staff have made some commitments to make sure that we have an effective year this year. So please take a look, sign, give us your suggestions. Do that, please. One intentional slide for you to take time to look it over. 
Parents, you also have the right to ask about professional qualifications of your child's teachers. And if a non-teacher personnel is providing instruction to your child and if the, their professional qualifications are intact. So please, you do have that right, families. You also have to be informed that if your child is taught for four or more weeks by a teacher who does not meet the certification requirements for the grade level of the subject being taught, then you have the right to know that. You have the right to know about their state assessments. Yes, some schools are still, some content areas still under FSA like science, uh, next generation standards. High schools have EOCs and elementary has progress monitoring. And so you have a right to know that information and you will find out the results of even assessments that have been taken recently. But families, if you are a migrant family, know that the school district of Palm Beach County's department, their program of migrant education is alive and well. And we look to support you in many facets of what it takes to make sure that education goes uninterrupted, that we have we eliminate cultural and language barriers, that we make sure that if transportation is an issue to school, that those things are worked out. So please, if you're a migrant family, please reach out to the school district or reach out to Jorge himself. His number is 561-202-0356. But families as well, there is another concern. Homelessness is a major concern when it comes to education. If you are living in a shelter, a hotel, an abandoned building, or if you're just having hardship and you've had to double up temporarily with relatives, please let our front office know if you have not already, already indicated it on your registration form. Please make sure that our McKinney Bento contact person is ready to for, receive your information and ready to provide as much support as necessary to help you, your child have a successful matriculation in school. The McKinney Vento number is 561-350-0778. And now it's time for random selection of parents. If you'll please, if you will volunteer to Participate in the survey. Teachers have anywhere from three to seven evaluation forms, just so that we can get a sampling of whether or not the information has been effective for you. If you know more about Title I than you did before, the form is translated into three to four languages. And thank you, and have an amazing evening.